my name is Perry. Today I'll be showing you how to use the shrinkage feature in Creo Parametric 2.0. This feature is primarily used for molds. After a part is molded, it can shrink as it cools. The shrinkage tool compensates for that. The shrinkage tool can be found when using a mold cavity found under manufacturing. There are two options for shrinkage, shrinkage by scale and shrinkage by dimension. I will select shrinkage by scale. I first need to select the parts coordinate system. With isotropic selected, the scaling will be uniform across the part. With the formula 1 plus S selected, the part will be scaled by 1 plus whatever shrink ratio I enter. I will enter 0.5, so the part is scaled by 1.5. If I accept this change, I now have shrinkage listed in the model tree. Also, if I edit one of the features, none of the dimensions line up anymore. They are displaying what the dimensions would be if I hadn't been compensating for shrinkage. With the formula 1 over 1 minus s selected, the part will be scaled by 1 divided by 1 minus whatever shrink ratio I enter. I will enter 0.5 so the part is scaled by 2. If I deselect isotropic, I now have options to scale by x, y, or z. I will enter 0.5 for x, 0.1 for y, and 0.9 for z. When we preview the part now, we can see that the part has been scaled differently for each axis. Now I'll select shrinkage by dimension. This will open another window and dialog box. You will see the same options for formula, and they operate the same way. If we scale by all dimensions, the result will be essentially the same as the isotropic scale from before. So if I enter 0.5, all dimensions scale by 1.5. Once again, it creates a feature in the model tree. When I edit a feature, the dimensions read the original measurement, but are extended to where their feature is now. The percentages represent the amount they have been increased by. I can also choose to shrink individual dimensions. Using the Insert Selected Dimension into Table button, I choose the hole to apply shrinkage to. Alternatively, I can use the Insert All Dimensions of Selected Features into Table and then select any feature. I can then scale each dimension by whatever I need. Because the mold components are designed to fit the reference model while it's still hot, the shrinkage tool will compensate for the difference in size once you know how much the material will shrink after cooling. In other words, the shrinkage tool makes the reference model the size it will be while it is being molded. I hope you found this tutorial useful. This is Perry Franklin from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content from PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.